Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel again today. We're currently washing the XLT Ranger that we've been driving for close to two weeks now because the uh, Ranger Raptor is broken. Um, so probably about a month ago, we started hearing this funny tinny ticking sound in the back of the vehicle. And it was um, real sporadic, like it wasn't a constant tick. It kind of sounded like a stone on one of the dust covers or something for the brakes. Um, so it would just kind of happen every now and again, but basically Since then the truck's gone in for a 30,000 K service and Ford have discovered what's what's wrong with it. They haven't been too clear to us exactly what, what's happened They just said that they've ordered the parts in and they've uh, now rectified the problem. It's now fixed but it has taken over two weeks to uh, get this sorted out so basically Right now, we're in the XLT Ranger, the standard Ranger. We're driving down to Ford, and we're gonna pick up the Raptor and find out exactly what has happened to the truck. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna give this thing a bath here now, and um, take this loan car back, and we'll figure out exactly what happened. Let's go. So we're here now at Cluster Ford, getting out of the XLT, and hopefully we can uh, be picking up the Raptor here in a minute. So we'll go into the service department now and find out exactly what happened to the Raptor. Drop off the XLT, and now we pick up the Raptor. That intro never goes. Sport mode. Three, two, one. Dealing with a damn cold and trying to do YouTube videos is um quite tough. But uh we shall carry on and here we are again back with the Raptor. Sorry for my voice at the moment guys, I'm just um, coming off a pretty gnarly cold, so we shall carry on, but we're going to get into exactly what happened to the Raptor here in a minute, but you can see we've been having some, uh, some fun this week in the Raptor, she's quite muddy. Filthy. I'll have to get on to, to washing it here shortly. We'll uh, wash it this afternoon because it is actually going back to the dealer. So we'll get into what actually Ford said that they found the problem. But you guys probably think that everything's been fine since. And it was for about a week. Here we have a EGR cooler pipe on the back of the engine. 
and that EGR cooler pipe I'm assuming is aluminium and it has actually cracked the bracket or however this pipe mounts to the back of the engine or the firewall I'm not too sure and that noise apparently was resonating down through the chassis towards the back of the vehicle and that's why we thought that we heard that right at the back so Ford said it was about a four hour job to actually replace that cooler pipe but now with the noise still there we're wondering if, if that pipe has broken the bracket once again or whether that actually wasn't the noise and they've just picked up on something else that was actually wrong with the vehicle so they said they had a couple of guys working on the vehicle and one of the guys was fiddling around the engine bay one was um, actually working on the back during the service um, checking things out and actually heard a noise coming down through the chassis and said what are you touching up the front and that's when they they noticed that the bracket was actually broken so Closter Ford have been absolutely fantastic um, with us with the Raptor um, they've gave us the other XLT Ranger during this process so the dealership has been fantastic and apparently there was another two litre by turbo engine with the same issue the same cooler pipe was broken so hopefully Ford gets onto this and um, can rectify the issue. I'm sure the bracket just needs either strengthening or something like that. Um, it's just probably a part that never failed during um, R&D and has now come unstuck. And a few vehicles out there in real world scenarios like ours, like have a go at it. <laughs> this is the truck. Every day of its life it gets used and that's exactly why we bought it. So... Um, Hopefully we can get this problem rectified here tomorrow and um, see if it's actually broken the same part again and if that is the noise. So I will do an update video as soon as we find out what's going on here. So I definitely can't fault Ford on them getting us another loan car to get this issue sorted out with the Raptor. I'll keep you guys informed on exactly what happens and how we go about getting this rectified and if that EGR problem was another problem on top of the one that we already had with that that funny tinny sound so whether the parts broken again or whether it's a completely different issue I'll definitely let you guys know and do an updated video here next week and um, find out exactly if that was the same issue whether we've got another broken cooler pipe bracket or whether it's just something else in the back we've been under there moving components and trying to vibrate things and shake wheels and and we just can't get that noise to happen and like i was mentioned in the start of the video it's so sporadic it's just a noise that kind of you could drive nearly all day and bang it'll just happen and you'll just hear it so anyway leave a comment below if you guys have experienced this or whether you guys have had the same situation but um yeah make sure you like and subscribe that way we can um i can give you guys a heads up if you've got one of these trucks and we can um yeah all try and get this issue sorted and um yeah but ford have been fantastic thanks again close to ford so if you're in the newcastle hunter valley area and you're looking for a new truck make sure you go check those guys out and thanks for being so straight up with us and letting us know exactly what the issue was and um yeah again five year warranty fixing it for free so which is just just awesome so like i mentioned it's probably just an r d just slight little something they missed brackets just not quite strong enough so could be a very simple fix here but i'll definitely let you guys know so we'll just take a good look at the um the bf goodrich tires on the rear here they're actually wearing pretty bad so this is with 30,000 k's on the truck at the moment and these back ones are almost shot they're almost completely done but again it's the aggressive terrain that we drive the truck on generally like the front ones they're, they're pretty good it's just more so the back ones so but we are going to be as soon as these back ones are totaled we will be putting the 35s on the truck that's what that's our next next video coming up we'll be changing these tires i'd say and why do i have to have a cold stuffy nose can't talk properly. Alright, I'm gonna go be sick now. See you.